This is uh, wine reduction Bordelais. It's the start of it. So basically, what I did is I uh, took some meat and caramelized it. Um, it's supposed to be just like scraps of ground beef. Caramelized the scraps of the ground beef. And then added shallots and red wine. And then reduced that down. And all right, the next step in the wine reduction sauce is to strain out all the meat. And I should have like about a cup of finished product. And then that will get uh, cooked down with the fawn from the steaks with some butter and um, should make a pretty good sauce. Alright, so the pan seared scallops. We'll season them really, really good on both sides before they hit the pan. A lot of the seasoning actually comes off. And you want the pan smoking hot. You also want your scallops dry before you come in the
crisp, um, and it just it paired very nicely with the scallops and the cheese and the egg and the prosciutto. <clears throat> the scallops and the pea puree were fabulous, and it was paired nicely with the chardonnay. So I just had the seared scallop paired with the uh, crimson ranch chardonnay. I thought overall presentation was excellent. Um, the sauce with the prosciutto had a very nice touch on it, um, and overall it, pa it paired well together. So I've got um, <clears throat> six onion steaks, um, just seasoned with just salt and pepper. Um, I let them sit out for a minute to get to, to, get to room temperature. Um, had them dry so they look a little moist, but it's just like barely a little bit on there. Um, should be great. We're gonna sear these and then I'm going to uh, make these with uh, broccolini and mushrooms. And in the oven, forgot to this. We've got potato wedges. Um, they are seasoned with salt, pepper, rosemary, and a little truffle oil. So for the main course. We are pairing it with a, wow, I can't even say it. <laughs> I tasted the wine though and it's actually really, really good. Um, it's kind of light, but it's a little peppery. Um, and it's, Capital de la I, herbaceous is probably the best word that I could probably use to describe it, herbaceous. Okay. Like, kind of got like little notes of different herbs. Mm -hmm. And so I figured since I'm using herbs with the meal, um, it should complement it. Um, I was gonna go more low, um, but I found that I was worried that the the strength of the low might conflict or fight with what you're gonna have on your palate. So I went with something that's a little bit lighter. Hopefully. Wow. <laughs> um, with a meat reduction sauce, it's called a Bordelaise. Um, with a sautéed, a spare, sautéed broccolini um, and portobello mushrooms um, and thank you. Potato, roasted potato wedges uh, seasoned with rosemary and uh, rosemary salt and pepper. So we just have the main course uh, filet mignon and the vegetables were cooked nicely. They had a, a crunch to them. Um, steak was good the flavor was great um the sauce was perfect and the wine definitely brought out a lot of the flavors in the steak and paired really nicely it's the filet mignon over broccolini and portobello mushrooms with rosemary potatoes and the wine paired nicely with it delicious meal and my food was delicious i had the steak it was cooked to perfection um <laughs> 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 Seasoned very well, matched really nicely with the uh, wine blend that he had picked. Um, the vegetables were delicious, um, and the potatoes were great. <laughs> I think that's last hour. Sweat. You got a picture of Valentine's Day. Uh, all right, I just had the filet mignon with the broccolini, portobello mushrooms. Uh, presentation was excellent. Uh, steak was cooked to perfection, and overall, the taste and the wine it was very good. The pairing was excellent. All right, so I had uh, the filet mignon over broccolini and portobello mushrooms. Uh, kind of like a Tuscan feel for the uh, potatoes. Um, very nice on the potatoes, very tender inside, very toasted on the inside, very sharp. Uh, broccolini, um, very crisp, not too soft, uh, but not too crunchy. Uh, portobello mushrooms, very nice, kept moist underneath, um, on top of the bed. Um, underneath the steak, steak was slightly overcooked, very great flavor. Um, sauce cooked to perfection. Um, the wine blend was very nice, complimented the steak. Very nice blend, a little bit of cinnamon, nutty, but very smooth. Um, yeah, very good dish. For the uh, final course, um, it is white chocolate mousse. Um, just pretty simple. Um, I did pair the white chocolate mousse with a sparkling champagne. Uh, Prosecco, 
and Charlie will love this. It is a menage a trois. So um, this was the white chocolate mousse, and it was really good, uh, not too sweet. Um, and it was paired with what was this? A uh, sparkling wine prosecco. A, prosecco. Um, mm-hmm. It didn't pair great with the dessert, but it um, was just a little something missing. But it wasn't terrible. Mm-hmm. Paired with the prosecco. Um, the mousse was fantastic. I'm not normally a dessert person, um, but it was delicious. It wasn't too sweet. Um, the pairing was close. Um, it was a little maybe too dry or something, the wine, um, with the dessert, but it wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. It was definitely drinkable. White chocolate mousse with the Prosecco. Prosecco. Um, the dessert was great, a uh, little sweet. Uh, I thought the pairing was a little off. It was a little dry. I think there was just a little something missing to give it that edge. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> white chocolate mousse. I found that the texture was a little bit heavy. I thought it should have been a little bit lighter. I thought it was pretty sweet for a mousse. I thought the pairing was good. I thought that it probably uh, would have been a better match had the white chocolate not be so sweet. I thought the taste was pretty good, um, that it matched well based on the situation. I just thought that it was a little heavy. We just had the white chocolate mousse. It was delicious and it was paired with the Prosecco. Prosecco. Um, (laughs) The wine was delicious. However, it was just a little bit on the dry side, but it was very nice. So um, I just finished the three course meal. Uh, the first, the first uh, dish was a pantered scallop with uh, mint pea puree, um, topped with a quail's egg and some crispy, crispy uh, prosciutto. Um, I paired that with chardonnay. Um, I actually felt the pairing went well. Um, most of my guests liked it as well, so I'm proud, proud of that. Um, the main course was a um, Filet mignon on top of broccolini, uh, sauteed broccolini with portobello mushrooms and um, potatoes. God, I can't remember the name of this. <laughs> yeah, but potato wedges. Um, and that was paired with a red blend. Um, I felt like that was probably the most successful pairing of the night. Um, no complaints from my guests. And I actually. Um, uh, on to dessert now. Oh yeah, uh, the dessert was white chocolate mousse uh, paired with Prosecco. Um, my goal in the pairing was was for the Prosecco to, to like contrast the mousse. However, it didn't work. Um, the dryness of the Prosecco um, was a little too dry um, up against the sweet. Um, I might have been more successful with uh, with something sweeter, but still sparkling, because I think the carbonation kind of is gonna help with the pairing as far as something um, like white chocolate mousse. Uh, so next time I'll probably go with uh, Cuvée Cube. um, or just some other kind of uh, sparkling wine that has a sweeter finish. Um, very close, very close. And both uh, the guests seem to like both the dessert and the wine separately, but when paired together, um, I believe they probably conflicted on the palate a little bit.